Welcome, sailors. This is Tom Luke, mastgates.com, and today we're talking about a G1 profile mast luff groove. This is what a G1 looks like. It's a rectangle and a concave cut. And this is from a Benetou 240. All G1 profiles have different measurements depending on where the extrusion was done. Now, this sailor wants to use it for a Rutgersen 1531-11 rolling car. I don't happen to have one, but the most popular sail slug that I've seen for large sailboats that need a compression slide is this Bainbridge A117 and it's just the right dimensions for building custom inserts that need a flush mount to the surface. Now this has a bottom and top little foot so when you install it you put the bottom in first and slide it into position and if you can put a wooden or plastic wedge in here to hold it tightly when you mark the locations for drilling your holes and tapping for a 632 by a half inch long stainless steel allen cap screw and this is made to be a flush mount when it's installed so the cars can f freely flow over. Now once again it's install and you only need one side that you're going to be taking off. One side can just stay permanently installed because you only need one side removed in order to take out your sail. Once your sail is on then you take your remaining insert and drop that into place, install the screws, and now your sail can freely slide up and down past your feed slot. Thank you for viewing mastgates.com G1 profile install. And remember to use a marine grade NACs paste on your threads so you won't have any galvanic action taking place and seizing up your screws. Thank you again.